Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. We had Patrick, Jing, and Chris from the Hasbro Star Wars team take to their YouTube channel this morning to show us all the upcoming Star Wars products. So there is a ton to go over and we're just going to jump right in. First and foremost, we've had the retro prototype Star Wars collection going for a little bit now. They've kind of thrown in a few here and there. We have Darth Vader to kick it off and then we had Boba Fett, which was the most recent, and now we're going to be getting a Stormtrooper version. So, multiple colors, multiple different styles. Again, it's just meant to invoke when they get these samples from overseas. They're in multiple different colors of plastic, and that's what we're going to be buying, right? So the Retro Collection Stormtrooper is a Target exclusive, Toys R Us in Canada, and he will be a fan channel exclusive if you're over in the UK. Moving into Star Wars The Black Series, kicking it off with the Gaming Greats line. God, I'm really hoping for Dash Rendar one of these days, right? The Jet Trooper will be blasting his way in. Really nice blues on this guy. I like that. Nice blue and white. Very cool to see. He will be a GameStop exclusive in the United States, EB Games in Canada, and of course a fan channel exclusive if you're over in the UK. Keep in mind, much like a few of these things, pre-orders will go up September 9th, which depending on when you see this, is tomorrow. Not everything you see here will be going up for pre-order. I'll make sure to tell you as we keep going on throughout the news. But if you want any of the products that you see here and they are available pre-order, again, when they become available, I'll have links down in the description below. Over in The Mandalorian, remember that show? Yeah, they're going to be doing more carbonized figures. So this is going to be the next vintage collection, Carbonized Wave. This is going to start off with the Armorer. Then you got the Incinerator Trooper, nice colors on him. He looks good. I mean, all this stuff looks great, but it's kind of like, ah, it's the same stuff over and over and over. You know what I mean? So kind of talking about it, it's like, yay. <laughs> then you have Moff Gideon, which he's all carbonized out. And this one actually looks pretty good as a carbonized trooper when you see him up close. This is the Shore Trooper, and they made sure to mention that this is the first time we're seeing the Shore Trooper in the Mandalorian card. So if you're one of those that pays attention to that, well, there you go, right? So these will all be a Walmart exclusive in the U.S. and the Canada's. Fan channel exclusive in the UK, and pre-orders will not go up tomorrow. They're going to hit on October 7th in and around 1 p.m. Walmart exclusive, you know the drill on that. Then they're going to be bringing back the credit collection. Remember that? You get a figure. It's based off the concept art for the Mandalorian, and you get little Imperial credits. In all honesty, I mean, this kind of looks like a completely different character, so it's kind of cool in that sense. It's the Mandalorian. He's all blue. Got a nice blue cape as Jing showed off right there. But yeah, nice weathered packaging. If you remember the credit collection, you're going to have to go to a few different places to get these things. So to kick it off with the Mandalorian, he's going to be available at Amazon in the US, Canada, and the UK. And yeah, he will be available for pre-order tomorrow starting September 9th. Then they went to Kuil, who I can't ever say his name right. I think that's the first time I've ever said it. I'm like, cool, cool. He's cool. It's like when Todd McFarlane says, like, oh, it's cool, it's cool. So he's really saying, it's cool. <laughs> but again, yeah, you're getting the whole concept look for cool. So you got him coming. He will be an Amazon exclusive US, Canada, UK tomorrow. Pre-order September 9th. Then you have Grief Karga. Again, the colors really do pop on these things. The credit collection, the little credit is interesting. I will give them that. It's something different. But again, it's the same figure we've had multiple times, right? Multiple different sizes so far. So they didn't show the little page for him or where he's available. They just said he's a fan channel exclusive. So expect places like Entertainment Earth and that like tomorrow, September 9th and on shelves in 2022 and then we have the moff gideon figure he looks good different colors on him he will be a best buy exclusive in the united states and canada and he will be a fan channel exclusive in the uk pre-orders tomorrow and then finally they're going to be doing the armor now there is a little bit of a difference between her and the standard release not only do you get the different colors but she actually comes with a little bit more accessories so she's coming with a jet pack on this one so that looks cool 
If you want her, she's going to be a GameStop exclusive in the US, EB Games in Canada, Fan Channel exclusive in the UK, pre-orders tomorrow, yada yada. Heading over to Target, they had the Mandalorian Grogu pack a couple months back, right? That was the one everybody wanted to get. Now they're going to be doing a repaint. <laughs> it's a Mudhorn battle repaint, basically. He's caked in mud. I will tell you this, up close, looking at the figure... That's a nice paint job. It looks like mud for the most part, right? I mean, we all know what we're thinking. But yes, from the episode where he battles the mud horn, caked in mud, looks pretty cool. So he comes with a new head portrait Grogu, his arms outstretched, he's doing the whole force thing. He's going to karate chop the mud horn or whatever he did in that episode. It's a bit of a new pram, right? New deco on that. And he also comes with the mud horn egg. So <laughs> a lot of stuff. In that box which i appreciate but at the same time i feel like it's a figure we've already gotten and yeah he'll go well with the poop trooper luke skywalker from a few years back no pre-orders for this guy they're going that route on this one he will be available spring 2022 target in the u.s toys r us in canada fan channel exclusive in the uk so again no pre-orders on him then they talked about oh hey marvel legends is doing the whole army builder thing let's go one step further and give you a pack of them so in the vintage collection this will be a shop disney exclusive you can also get them on pulse if you want this is going to be a pack of stormtroopers you get three grunts you get one squad leader with a red pauldron and again it's good for troop building it's not the last troop builder but it is the first troop builder just keep that in mind so more are coming Shop Disney exclusive in the US, Canada, and UK. Pre-orders start tomorrow, September 9th, and they're gonna be on shelves in spring 2022. Now, to move more into the vintage collection, see what I mean? There's a lot of stuff coming. We're going to be getting a new Emperor Palpatine. He's gonna be having soft robes, soft velvety robes, and he'll have a plastic hood so it doesn't get that weird droopy thing right there. And as Patrick mentioned, he is number 200 in the whole vintage collection line. Then we got Lobot coming, Lando Calrissian's right-hand robot man. He looks cool. I mean, I it's just, yeah, I look at all this stuff and I'm like, I had all this Power of the Force way, way back then. They asked to know the articulations all updated and everything else for new collectors, but I mean, it's just like, hey, it's Lobot. <laughs> this one though, he's a fan favorite of mine, Bib Fortuna, Bumblebee Tuna. Yeah, he's just a cool looking character. I mean, they really captured him this time around you look at the older figures and stuff there's a lot of stuff they kind of missed on old bib fortuna so it's nice that they're kind of pointing out more details and such so these will be available at most major retailers starting spring 2022 and again pre-orders start tomorrow september 9th so you can get in line for that for all you force effects lightsaber peoples Ray's got a new lightsaber. She probably stole this one too, much like her last name. Ah, sorry, I gotta like, I gotta put the jabs in there. Just kidding, it ruined it for me. If I'm gonna be completely honest with you, she's a Palpatine and everybody knows it. Most major retailers, including Pulse, US, Canada, UK, pre-order tomorrow, September 9th. Then, this is actually, I like that they do this. This is going to be archive pipeline reveals. We're gonna be getting a new Emperor Palpatine. We're gonna be getting the Lando Calrissian and his skiff guard motif. Then we're going to be getting a new Hope C-3PO. And Dengar will be making his return in all his head sock glory or whatever he's wearing. <laughs> it's a horrible picture of Dengar. God, it's like a mugshot right there, right? Then in the vintage collection, we got a new Yoda coming. We have the 501st clone trooper. And then... Some new ones. We got the Mandalorian, Death Watch, Airborne, Troopers. Say that all in one go. And then we have the most amazing, I love this band. I remember the old mail and all that other kind of stuff. Figure and Dan, right? The Cantina band player. Do all the band guys again. That's cool. I really dig that. Especially if you're going to be building up a cantina. You know what I mean? You got to have those guys playing their weird jizz music. <laughs> Look it up, Star Wars peoples. Designed by HasLab. Remember this whole thing? Blew it up right after you paid for it. <laughs> the Razor Crest is coming. Here's a little bit of an update on that. They said it was going to be more towards the end of this year. It's been pushed to around January 2022. So hopefully 
it starts shipping in around that time. Could be sooner, could be later, but around January 2022 is when they should start sending out your Razor Crests. And then just to let you know a little update on Antok Merrick's X-Wing, they're not gonna be doing pre-orders for this at all. <laughs> So when it hits shelves, it hits shelves. Good luck. And hopefully if you want one, you can find one as well. So again, thank you to Patrick, Jing, and Chris. Thanks for showing off some, we'll say quote unquote new Star Wars figures. I have to be honest with you, Star Wars is just not doing it for me. I'm a huge fan of The Mandalorian right now. And I'm really looking forward to the Book of Boba Fett. But just with these figures, offerings, and everything else, it is what it is in terms of like, it's just the same thing over and over and over again. And when I do see things like, oh, hey, we're doing Power of the Force and we're going to do this cool line and everything else. But then it's just re-releases of the Black Series. It's not like roided out. You know what I mean? Like I, to me, that's like a missed opportunity. So if you really wanted to be like, hey, we're doing something cool, that's kind of like what I would think would be kind of cool, right? it's it's really the same you're finite characters it's there's only so many you can release however you know there's a lot of different characters from the mandalorian and i hopefully see more for that but to be honest with you like a mudhorn deco variant of the mandalorian okay i mean it's 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 cool but it's just okay but i'm curious to know what you guys think about all these new Star Wars reveals. Are they for you? Will you be grabbing? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Star Wars. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, don't don't write a bunch of comments about, like, Ray Palpatine or Ray Skywalker. I saw the movie. I, I get it. She stole the lightsaber and Luke's last name. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.